Our Saburn Rocket 2230 SSD is a small Gen 4 SSD that works great in the Steam Deck. So once you upgraded the stock SSD with this Saburn Rocket SSD, you are going to need to re-image SteamOS on the Steam Deck and that's what this video is all about. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrin we love to make and talk tech so if that's what you're into then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So when you install the SSD into the Steam Deck and power it on, in a few moments you'll see this message right over here which says default boot device missing or boot failed insert recovery media and hit any key then select boot manager to choose a boot device or boot recovery media so the first thing that we need to do is to download the steam os recovery image from the steam website which i will have linked down in the description below once you have downloaded the image you will need to grab a usb stick of some kind to write the image to i'm going to use this rocket nano as i've got this lying around but basically anything over eight gigabytes is going to be fine. Make sure it has some kind of USB-C connection or use some kind of adapter or cable as we will need to be plugging this in to the Type-C port onto the Steam Deck. Now you need to either download Rufus for Windows or Belina Etcher for macOS or Linux as these are the softwares that we'll be using to get the image onto the USB stick. Links to all of these will be down in the description below. Use the relevant software for your computer and flash the image to that USB drive. It's super easy to do and it will tell you once it has completed that the drive has is successfully ready to use. Now make sure that the Steam Deck is fully turned off and then you want to plug in the USB stick into the USB port into the Steam Deck. Now hold down the power volume button and then press and click the power button. Once you hear the chime, let go of the power button and then you'll be booted into the boot manager in a few moments. In the boot manager, boot from the EFI USB device, which will be your USB stick that you've plugged into your Steam Deck and you want to select that by pressing the A button. As you can see here, it says the Sabrin Rocket Nano, which is what I have connected. It may take a couple of minutes to boot, so just be patient. Once booted, you will be in the desktop environment where you have a few different options. Here, you can either use the touch screen or use the trackpad and triggers to navigate the screen. In the recovery environment, you want to select re-image Steam Deck, which is for me the second option in. This performs a full factory reset with the stock Steam OS. Now, you wanna double click and then you want to click proceed and then proceed. And then you wanna wait a few minutes while this performs the re-imaging of Steam OS into the new SSD. Now it says re-imaging complete, choose proceed to reboot into Steam Deck now. So I'm gonna press proceed. And there you go, after a couple of minutes, it is now rebooted into the SteamOS setup. And then you can just go in and set all of your preferences and log into all of your details as it is basically now a brand new Steam Deck with your new Saban Rocket 2230 SSD. So yeah, it is that easy to do. And you now have your Rocket SSD into your Steam Deck and you can literally download as many games as you want to play. As you can see, it was super simple to do and I've done this quite a few times at this point. And as long as you follow these steps, you will be absolutely fine rebooting and re-imaging SteamOS onto your new Saban Rocket 2230 SSD. But that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.